I always have to specify that when I film these videos, it's not actually on the days they come out on. So if this video comes out on Friday and you see me drinking coffee, I film this video on Sunday. <laughs> so, disclaimer. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform. And today we are continuing my series. I don't know where episode two went. Um, for some reason, it's not where it was. I might have accidentally deleted it. It might have gotten taken down for some reason, but I've never had YouTube take a video down on me, so I don't know where episode two went, so I apologize for that. But we're going into episode four of this? Or then maybe this could be an episode two replacement. Here are 10 movies slash TV shows that I regret watching or will never watch as a Catholic. But first, a word from our sponsor, The Little Catholic Box. The Little Catholic Box is a family-owned Catholic company that sends out quarterly subscription boxes to those who sign up. You can also purchase their items individually if you would like off of their online store. These items are quality and they support other Catholic businesses too. So don't miss out. You can use my link below in the description for 10% off your purchase today. The Little Catholic Box. Celebrate your faith in everything you do. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Uh, the first one is the Scream TV series. I watched this series the entire way through. It had me hooked. I was on it. I loved this series. And as a teenager, I did like a lot of uh, movies and TV shows that were super gory and scary, like uh, Supernatural, which I think is still going on. That's crazy. I was really into that as a teenager. And I think I did that because I wanted to fit in with the group of friends I had at the time, which were super into like gore and like just ugh. So Scream the TV series is, I don't, from what I remember of it, um, it was extremely gory. I remember a police officer was basically tied to a tree and like his guts fell out. Anyways, it follows these kids. One by one, they basically get slaughtered, literally. And it's really bloody. It's really gross. It's actually, I think it scarred me for life actually. And that's why I remember certain scenes from it still. Um, but in the end, like she ends up having like this sister or something that was like given up for adoption and the other sister was kept. So the sister who was given up for adoption goes on like this killing spree. And the main character has a boyfriend and that boyfriend apparently was in on this and is actually the boyfriend of her sister. There was a lot of drama. The point is though, it was extremely gory. People died left and right. Like all of her close friends died. She almost died herself too. Um, it was just extremely hard to watch. I don't think anybody should really be exposed to that much gore, but I exposed myself because I was a teenager. Number two, Pretty Little Liars. I will say I was more disappointed in this series than anything because of the ending and Spencer having that twin. Like, come on guys, you couldn't have come up with anything else besides that. Like, that was kind of a letdown that they just decided to end the entire series with Spencer having a twin. Besides that though, um, some other reasons I didn't like it is obviously Ariana, like that whole teacher student thing where like, like she's a high school student, teacher, you know, kind of thing. It's kind of similar to Riverdale in that sense where like, you know, Archie and his teacher and, so there were like a lot of weird things like that on top of that like infidelity um immodesty people getting like murdered although i will say it wasn't the worst tv show i ever watched and i can't really say i regret watching it because i really did like the series for quite a while and looking back on it i don't really see a huge amount of things that are wrong with it um or maybe i just don't remember them if you guys remember them let me know. I probably just don't remember it because it's been so long since I've watched it. Um, but it's definitely not the worst series I've ever watched. If I had to place it, I would probably place it below like Twilight and Riverdale. Oh, and also The Kissing Booth. I'd place it below there. So it's not the worst, but also it still had a lot of stuff in there where I was like, ooh. Number three, Friends. I watched all the series of Friends. I was obsessed with this show, especially clapping during the intro. Um, I really, really loved this show, but looking back on it, there were so many things wrong with it. Like so many. There were like nude scenes, there were vulgar like jokes and a lot of suggestive material 
in it in the sense of like sex and things like that. I really liked some of the episodes. Some were really funny, but then Ross like marries Rachel and then they get divorced and they marry again and they have a kid and then he has a kid with this other girl. Like there's just a lot of stuff that's really wrong with it. It also makes men kind of look feminine and weird. I think the only part that I really liked about it was the fact that they're all like a close knit group of friends and like they're in like their 20s. Number four, Pet Cemetery. I was really into Stephen King. Really, really into Stephen King. I read his books, I watched his movies. Um, I really liked Stephen King. So Pet Cemetery basically follows this family who moves to this new house. Um, they have a little one-year-old son who gets hit by a truck. Parenting 101, I guess. So the boy dies, um, and the mom and the sister decide to go back to their old house. The dad stays out where all of this happened, like in their new house, and then he hears about this cemetery that can resurrect things, and so he buries his son there. Yeah. And so his son comes back, but as like this demon, gruelly baby kind of thing, and there's a cat that hisses at them. It was really gory though, because it kind of like broke my heart, because it's like this little baby like running around murdering people. <laughs> um, and obviously the dad has to kill the baby again, and so like that's just traumatizing in itself as well. Just very traumatic. Number five is another Stephen King movie, Carrie. Um, honestly, I really hated this movie in general. I think it was really stupid, but it was just a waste of time. Um, so I read the book though. The book was a lot better than the movie, but it's still like really bad. So there's obviously a lot of sexual content in there, but also it kind of gives Christians a bad rep because her mom was like, oh, you have to, um, oh, you're menstruating or whatever because you're possessed and like all this stuff. It was really weird. And she was like, AKA Harry Potter living underneath the stairs and her mom locked her in there. So Carrie basically like beats people up because she has like telekinesis or whatever. I mean, it was kind of a waste of time. I didn't get a point to the story besides the fact that like she just killed people and she got a crown on her head and something else happened. Oh. Did she get like blood spilled on her or something during prom? Yeah, it wasn't very good, wasn't very memorable. Okay, number six. This is a lesser known TV show. This one's called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Basically, it follows this girl who works in a big name company or whatever, she runs into her old eighth grade camp crush, Josh or something, and she runs into him in the city and he goes like, oh, it's great to see you, like you look great. And she's like, oh, where do you live? And he's like, somewhere in like California or something. And so she ends up quitting her job, packing up, moving all the way to California to be with Josh, who has a girlfriend. And there's like music, it's like a musical series too. And she comes and she like, starts working this new job out there and she meets a friend who like tries to help her get together with Josh and Josh has this weird girlfriend who's like super tall model Italian girl who's just like out to destroy the other girl. I don't know. It was a mess, but it was literally like a telenovela. Like there was so much going on at once and it was so cringeworthy that I'm pretty sure I was, my entire face was just like, the entire series, my face was like that. It was so cringy. There was a lot of like just suggestive material in general as there is in mo most of these TV shows I mentioned. It was so bad that I think I only got to like season two. And then she started like, there was this bartender who kind of liked her. She started playing him. It was a mess, do not suggest, waste of time. Number seven is James Bond. The older ones, not the newer ones so much. I haven't even watched the newer ones, but I've heard the newer ones are more action packed and like better. I've watched quite a few of the older ones. Mm. They are really bad. <laughs> I mean, the amount of abuse and womanizing that goes on in James Bond and the sexual content, and I get that that was a part of James Bond, like, like he's a 007 agent and he gets all the girls and he's always working. He literally punched a girl in the face. Like, it's extremely violent towards women, and then he drugged her. So yeah, to say the least, I'm not a huge fan, you know, James Bond. Um, the newer ones I've heard are better from my friends. They're just like, oh, it's more action-packed, like there's not as many, like, scenes like that. And I'm like, that's great, because literally every single intro of James Bond is like up-close scannings of women's body parts. Like, that's a little sus there, James Bond. Okay, number eight is Fuller House. I can't really say 
that there was like a lot of things wrong with this series except for the fact that I'm just biased and I prefer the original. Um, I feel like with whenever anybody tries to make a remake of an original series that came out back in like, you know, the 1990s or whatever, like, or the early 2000s, it's just not the same. And they tried way too hard to make it like the previous series. So I can't really say that there was anything in the series that made me like, oh my gosh, that's an awful series, like, ugh. Um, but then again, I only got through like four episodes, so maybe there was something and I just didn't get to it. Let me know if you guys watched it and you guys noticed something, because that would be great to know. But I didn't watch past four episodes because I was like, this is trying too hard. I miss the old Full House. And so I just went back to watching the old Full House. Number nine is Chucky, which I think, no, it's not a Stephen King. I don't think Chucky's a Stephen King. I don't think. Anyways, I watched a lot of Chucky movies in my high school years, but there's like a lot of stuff wrong with Chucky. Obviously, the main thing is that it's a voodoo doll, like some criminal murderer puts his soul into this murdering doll, like voodoo doll. He kills a priest, which is not okay with me. I was, I think that was the original Chucky is when that happened and I actually like turned it off because I was like, we ain't even going there. And I wasn't even in my faith at that point, but I was like, that's just wrong. I didn't really watch the other main Chucky series. I think there were a few others, it's like, I don't know. But uh, in general, it was gruesome. It was gross. There was witchcraft. There was just a lot of stuff wrong with it. And for some reason, I wanted a Chucky doll when I was a kid because I didn't watch Chucky, but there was like an advertisement for it during Halloween and I was like, oh, I want that. My parents were like, uh -huh, no, smart on my parents' end. And the last movie is a more recent one that just came out a couple months ago, Turning Red. I watched this movie because people were talking very highly of it. They're like, oh, this is gonna touch on like, you know, puberty and girls, you know, going through school when they start getting their cycle and like, I was all for that. I'm like, this is great. This is going to be awesome. Like, it's going to be a really informative, you know, cartoon for girls who are like, you know, in that area of life. <sighs> Man, was I wrong. <laughs> for starters, the movie literally opens to her being like, I respect my parents, but if you respect your parents too much, you're basically going to lose like your self-respect. So automatically, she's basically saying like, don't respect your parents. And then like the movie basically escalates to like her and her mom having this ginormous argument because she wants to go to this boy band party and her mom's like, no, that's weird. Like that's a weird band and you shouldn't be doing those things because those things are bad, you know, like twerking and stuff like that. And they get into this huge argument and she literally screams at her mom. Yeah, and I like gyrating, which is basically like twerking. And then she starts doing it for like a whole like five to ten minutes. She's just like shaking her butt at her mom at, in panda form. I guess I should mention that she's in panda form. So it's acceptable because it's a panda and it's not a little 11 year old girl. Or is she 13? I think she's 13. And then on top of that, at the end, she's going out and she's like half panda, half girl. Like she has her tail out like a furry and she has like ears on like a furry. And her mom's like, oh, you're not going out like that, are you? And she literally says, and I quote, my panda, my choice. Sound familiar, people? A little bit. Do not let your children watch this movie. As an adult, I was horrified by this movie. I felt scandalized by this movie because I thought it was going to be about, you know, girls getting their cycles and how to deal with it and dealing with puberty and going through all of these things. And it was not that. And anyone with a clear mind can understand that that was not the point of this movie. And it's just really sad to see people try to corrupt our kids. So anyways, yeah, that's my 10 list video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which ones you guys regret watching in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinions and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.